What's up guys, welcome to Random Iowa. If you're unfamiliar with how this channel works, we open up a big map of Iowa, we take a pointer and we throw at it and wherever it lands, that's where we go to learn about that town or township. <laughs> go for it. And we have got Luzerne, Belle Plaine, Luzerne. Pretty much in between Belle Plaine and Luzerne. We're coming for you, Belle Plaine. <laughs> Off the side of the road, on the way to Belle Plaine, we stop by this very cool structure. A whole lot of wheels welded together to form a tower, and it was constructed by L.J. Mastum. 90 years old. I'd say that's quite a feat for a 90 year old to be able to. Whoa, that's a cool rock. We've got several more down and around here. Very, very cool. We're getting ready for harvest season. I gotta say, that's quite a feat for a, for a 90 year old guy. Very impressive. Well, it appears we have arrived in Belle Plaine, Iowa. Obviously, Iowa is frozen. <laughs> Don't think I've ever been to Belle Plaine. So this is new to me. Belle Plaine is a town of 2,000, almost 2,500 people. Uh, this is a cool little business district. It was founded in the 1860s settled mainly in the mid 1800s Preston Station in Belle Plaine it just has a sign on it that says Belle Plaine Strong it used to be much more decorated than this I'll share some pictures of what it used to look like I looked into it and the Preston Corner Gas Station is actually getting fixed right now uh, we had uh, Duratio move through Iowa in August of 2020 and it did some damage and there was some uh, stuff they wanted to fix up anyway so they pulled the signs down they're actively it's nice it's actively getting fixed so that's why it looks like it does they actually have a Facebook page if you're interested in it and they also have a website where you can donate to help get the thing um, back up to snuff <laughs> you might want to wait for those to cool off a little bit <laughs> We got hungry, so we stopped here at the Ice House drive through and got us some food, and it looks like good stuff. We even have a grilled cheese for laying Very cool old sells sign, Royal Blue Shoe, 350 a shoe. We have stumbled upon something called a sound park. We get to experiment with sounds in here. That's cool. This is right downtown, too. <laughs> I think we get to see another train. This will be our third train. We'll count number of trains. This will be number three. the King Theater. Looks like it's still going because I got show times. Say it again. 
Number four. <laughs> Number four? Yep. The bells just went off. And I can hear it in the distance. Here comes train number four. There it is. Number four. <laughs> number four. Right here is the Lincoln Cafe. It's been restored recently with a new look. If you ask me, I kind of I wish they would have used the old sign. I think that it had more of a classic look to it. But even still, it's always good to see local business coming back. Here outside of City Hall, they have a memorial for all that have served in the Belle Plaine community, served in World War I. And look at this. There's a lot of heroes that served World War II from this, from this community right here. This is a beautiful downtown here. And unlike some of the towns that we've been to, there's a lot going on down here. A lot, of, a lot of business is still going strong down here, which is very encouraging. Now this I was going to mention. Above the highway, a local newspaper features a story of Jumbo Well, an artisan well drilled in 1886. Jumbo burst forth, spewing millions of gallons of water into the streets of Belle Plaine, making national and international headlines before it was kept. An engineering marvel, Jumbo was finally conquered by a local family after engineers from across the nation failed to halt the flood. And I will take you to that spot shortly. Old Jumbo Well broke out in August of 1886 at this intersection of 8th Avenue and 8th Street. It was months before this gusher of artisan water was brought under control. And this is where it happened. The geyser. This was a big deal when the well broke. And it took lots of long time before it could be brought under control again. Here's a mural about the Jumbo Well. It happened in Belle Plaine, Iowa. And here we have like a 3D type of structure here. <laughs> Talking about the well, we've got a Model A coupe there, looks like. Steam locomotive. This is really cool. Oh yeah, and a headline there, Jumbo Well. Here's a mural depicting the Lincoln Highway. <laughs> and it's first transcontinental, America's first transcontinental highway began in New York City's Times Square and ended in San Francisco Lincoln Park. From approximately 1913 to 1937, Belle Plaine, Iowa was on the main traveling route. What's that sound? Train number. We have a little tavern, maybe restaurant, appropriately labeled Grand Central Station. Looks like this building might be getting restored. Looks like an old. Historic building of some sort. It's got the roof all tarped up and everything. Or maybe it's waiting to be. Hashtag Our Swell Hotel. Ah, check out hashtag Our Swell Hotel. I'm gonna. This to me has all the evidence that it used to be an old garage. We've got the old lighting fixture up there. The big bay door. A very cool case sign vintage sign this is very cool fl sancot garage auto supplies and magneto service wow this is the real deal yeah still servicing magnetos and all kinds of old stuff in there sancot motor company has been placed on the national register of historic places by the united states department of the interior 1995 so yeah this was definitely a garage. I have to look into the history of it. I love that it's still servicing automotive stuff to this day. Automotive and tractor, I would guess. The cool cars that must have rolled out of here. Hi. <laughs> right where you're sitting. I'm gonna smell them.
I was gonna check out the Belle Plain Area Museum. It's locked. And I think maybe this is what it is, Thursday through Sunday, 12 to 4. I tried to contact them via email, didn't get anything back, but that's okay. We'll be back. We will check it out when we pass through another time. Got an old school lumber yard still operating, up and going. You got a pretty slick caboose over here to check out. It's like the Perry caboose. <laughs> it is a lot like the Perry caboose. Guys, if you haven't seen that episode, we got food out of a caboose much like this one. And we got Same color. And we got a slushie. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. And what else? A pickle. Again, very impressed with how much business is still bustling on this main street. Lots of people going in and out of shops. And very cool to see that. And another thing to note is all the cars downtown. I mean, a lot of people down here shopping. My guess is there's probably some hardworking people that work in the city, for the city and preservation and all that that keep all this running as well. There you know, keep it all going. I still want to go that Impressive. <laughs> this is the back side of the main drag there, and here we have our train tracks, but I came down here to check this out. Must be the old, an old depot or something. It looks, looks pretty incredible. Big thumbs up for the ice house driving. Potato. Definitely eat there again. Potato. These houses are really cool. Tom McGlory, outlaw cowboy who was actually killed the shootout at the OK Corral was raised here in Belle Plaine. How about that? Overlooking the football field here, former New England Patriots head coach Rod Rust coached football here in Belle Plaine long before he became head coach of the New England Patriots. They have a very cool prairie exploration area going over all the types of things in the prairie. And a little bit of history here about the area, and then you can go through trails. Yeah, you could have a picnic right here. Yeah, and then you could uh, go on a a walk through the prairies here. I see where it goes to. Well, let's go take a look. Ready. All right, guys, that's going to do it for Belle Plaine, Iowa. A very cool place. I really liked it. I know we talked about maybe going to Luzerne, but we had found a lot of stuff here, and uh, we'll go through Luzerne one of these days. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We truly appreciate it, right? Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. We'll see you in the next town. Driving back home to quite the sunset. Iowa sure is a beautiful place.